Hello YouTube, this is Keith Kevin Ken. How you doing? How you doing? Hope you're doing well. Today I'm gonna go over my Benchmade Bug Out collection. You know, usually you hear me talk about Spyticles and Chris Reeve knives. Um, but I found the Benchmade. I know, it's been around for a while, but I just went crazy over the Benchmade um bug out i really started liking that knife and as you guys know i have the collection bug and so i went overboard with it of course i started out like most people with one of the regular bench maids you know there's the regular blue one and then it's the green one, the green one, <laughs> S30V steel is what the usual bug out is. Of course, these are the large ones. It's usually S30V and the larger ones, 3.2 inch blades, the entire length is 7.5 inches and they only weigh a little over 1.8 ounces. And what happened was I was waiting for Spyticles and it was one of those where there was a big delay before the Spyticles came out, you know? And I was just crazy. I wanted a new knife. And I heard about, about the Benchmades for so freaking long. They always come up first in a Blade HQ um, survey of the most sold knives in the year and that kind of thing. So I bought one, the blue one. And I have to tell you, these knives, I fell in love with them. One thing I fell in love with is they're so light and thin and easy to operate. They have this access lock, and if you guys have watched any of my videos, and yes, I'm older, I'm 62 years old, I don't flip up blades and do all that stuff, but I'll tell you, this access lock, it's just wonderful. You have the two lugs, so, and of course, the clip, right hand or left hand, so each knife is a lefty or a righty. And that lock is just perfect. And then they have the big lanyard hole. And they usually do something with the standoffs, which I like. I like that see-through construction. They have like the standoffs. The color usually matches the hand lugs, but sometimes they do some special things with that, which I really like. And now the scales, they call it Grivery, right? Grivery, G-R-I-V-O-R-Y. Feels like FRN scales to me, like the Spyderco FRN scales. Someone told me last time when I did one of these knives and I said the same thing, they said, well, it's kind of their trademarked FRN scales, so. I believe them. Yeah, I'll get organized. It's been a while since I've done a video. Sorry about that. They came out with this blacked out version, which I really love. Look, I'm going to say love a lot because I only have one type of bench made and it's 16 bug outs. <laughs> I'm not a huge bench made fan. I know some of you are huge bench made fans. I'm not, but... Oh, I don't think you can find a bigger bug out fan than I am. The blacked out version was great. Now with the blackout version, they call these scales <coughs> carbon fiber elite, CF elite. And I have to tell you, to me, they feel the same as Grivery. That's to me. You guys are going to tell me the difference, I'm sure, but I'm just telling you how I feel. 
I wouldn't know it unless I looked it up, unless they told me that it's CF Elite. They did the same thing when they brought out the minis. They brought out the minis with the orange and then the white with the black blade and then here you go, the blacked out version, which I love. For a while I saw a lot of people online taking the white scaled version and dyeing it black so they could have a small blacked out version and then they released one. Again, the blackout version has this thing they call CF Elite scales, which again, I don't understand. <laughs> okay, I admit it. Now the smaller versions of these knives, I mean, again, super easy to carry, super light, which I love. These minis are something else. Again, S30V steel, 2.8 inches of blade instead of the 3.2. The total length is 6.5 inches instead of the 7.5. And it only weighs in at 1.5 ounces, which I really like. I like the white with the black handle. You know, a lot of people who try to do white scales, whether it's Spydeco or anyone else, they always have some problems with it. They did a good job with these scales. Again, I admit it, I admit it. I'm not a huge Benchmade person. I don't know that much about Benchmades. All I know about Benchmades is what I discovered falling in love. <laughs> I said it, it's a knife kind of love. You guys have had knives like that. I've had a lot of knives like that. As I kept just going crazy over these knives, I expected, I just wanted one and ended up with 16. This is a real nice exclusive. This is a lot different, it's a Blade HQ exclusive is it blade hq hold on guys no i've seen it not just on blade hq let me see this is an exclusive this is with black real carbon fiber i believe it is let me look this thing up yes it is What is wrong with me? Why can't I find this? Sorry, guys. Yeah, the carbon fiber, it isn't an exclusive. Sorry, I had a brain fart. I'm having a lot of those these days. Carbon fiber, this has S90V steel with the satin blade, S90V steel. And let me tell you, this carbon fiber is wonderful. Now this is carbon fiber. Not that phony stuff that they call elite. This is good stuff. I love the construction of these two. Not only are they see-through construction, they do have a stainless steel liner, but it's really, it's, I bet you we can not see, maybe we can see a little bit of, see the liner? But it doesn't go all the way down the entire scale. It's so mostly around the lock and a little below it on both sides. Saves on weight, but it's very sturdy. This black carbon fiber is wonderful, especially since it has what's becoming one of my favorite steels, S90V steel. Blade HQ came out with another exclusive. I'll tell you what I've discovered the G10 scales are wonderful. <laughs> they do G10, and maybe it's because I'm so used to their knives having the Grivery or that, you know, CF Elite, that when it comes with the G10, it feels kind of luxurious. It's really wonderful. Nice grip. 
I really like the G10. Blade HQ came out with the exclusives, with these exclusives. In this case, it has 20 CV steel and this gray, light gray G10. Whoops. Of course, they also did the black blade version. Great steel. I love the green, the standoffs and the lugs. It's like they brought green in from, and they just said, hey, do we have extra green? And it just really pops with that black blade, doesn't it? Had to get both of them, of course, because I was on a roll. <laughs> I just loved them. Knife Center came out with an exclusive as well. The Knife Center one has this red battle wash scales. I think, I think this is CF Elite, but the scales are nice. It actually, the scales are red scales and then they're hand painted. The black part of it is hand painted. So no two knife is the same. It's knife center exclusive with still S30V steel. Yeah, I went looking for the real special ones because I was hooked. And so I found the limited edition uh, bench made. They made 2,000 of these. Found it new in box on the secondary market, so I paid a little too much for it. They made 2,000 of these. This is number 1,112. 20 CV steel. Has that natural G10 over the blue. I think the logo is a little too big for that. It would have been nice without the logo in the middle of it. But it's a real nice, unique knife. And I just had to have it. Now, if you get into the comments and you ask me to explain and you want me to defend Benchmade and all of that, I'm not going to do that. I'm a collector. I just like it. <laughs> they made me feel good, okay? And after... Hundreds, literally, of Chris Reed knives and what? <sighs> Over 500 spiticles from the real early to the newest ones. Browse blades, hinderers, striders, a handful of customs, etc. I was surprised more than anyone else that I just fell in love with the bug out. Fell in love so much that I spent way too much money. This cost as much as a Chris Reeve wood inlaid Damascus blade. How about that? <laughs> I didn't even know that Benchmade had something called the gold class. Their top class of knife. This is number 913. I think, is it only a thousand? I'm not even sure. But I love the damn steel blade and the carbon fiber. Again, that's that real good carbon, uh, carbon fiber. And that blue C-Tech as an inlay. Oh, it feels so nice. The transitions from C-Tech, it is inserted, but it's not chunky insert. You know, just smooth and wonderful. Everything about this knife is quality except the clip i mean the clip is the regular clip right <laughs> so you're spending chris reeve upgraded luxury prices come on do a little something with the clip by the way i love the deep carry clip it's simple but i expected a little more from this but i am real happy with the knife right out of the box smooth as could be Someone says, why would you pay that much money for a bug out that you could get for a hundred and something dollars? I'm a collector. It made me feel good. That's all I cared about. 
when I had these knives, I actually thought, okay, Kevin, we can rest on that. We've got a good thing. Don't go overboard. All right, just chill. Yeah, I went overboard. Someone emailed me and said, you know, <laughs> I saw this bench made and it was an exclusive from Bass Pro Shops. And so I went online, it was there, and I ordered it. Yeah. Grivery, the big difference here, it has that gray scales, but it has that orange blade, which I just think is kick-ass, I'm sorry. S30V steel, you don't see the orange blade that often. I really like it. And of course, once I got that, I just went online. I heard about this international version. Now what the international version is, is just that. All the other knives made in the USA, this one was never sold in the USA. Never sold in the USA. Um, I think this is, who knows? It's either CF Elite or Grivery. <laughs> All right. S30V with the black. The big difference is that this red with the black blade is only sold internationally. I think I got it from the UK. And man, I was happy with that. I really was. And then, I love Instagram sometimes. People say, okay, so now you're collecting them. Did you hear about the Smoky Mountain Knife Works exclusive? No, I didn't. So I went to them, and I got this bug out, which I really like a lot. Green G10 feels so great. Gray M4, CPM M4 steel, gray. They did a great job. They actually have this great thing where you can build your own. It's not custom. You just can pick the scales and the blade but let me tell you this gray cpm m4 with the g10 remember g10 on these knives is something special it's just great this is a quality knife i don't know if they still have them probably sold out by now but oh if you can find that knife it's really nice and unlike some other knife makers with bug out you know you're starting to see 20 cv steel we had that special the two blacked out versions with s90 v and now cpm m4 steel which is great now i've heard about other people who have released bug outs i've stopped because i'm trying to trim my collection you may have heard from 750 down to about 200 I'm like at 600 or 550 right now, so I have a way to go. By the way, the next trimming is probably a month away, the middle of November sometime. Don't know what knives I'm trimming yet. Don't know the exact dates, but I'll let you know. But then someone told me about this, and I figured this would be the best last bug out that I buy. Now recently, Benchmade has done an aluminum bug out, and there are other people doing exclusive bug outs, but I'm done. It's hard being, I'm gonna do a big collector's video sometime and talk to you about my struggles of trying to get over this illness. But this is the best kick ass knife. One of the best kick ass knives I have in my entire collection. It is super duper special. This is the spaced out bug out. Northern Knives and Colorful Filth. They do a collaboration, I guess, every year with knives. This is by far one of their best. They took the bug out 
and made it this wild, crazy knife. Look at the blade. All about astronauts. Look at it. It does come with the clip, but they actually don't attach the clip. Your regular clip. They don't attach the clip because, of course, it would hide some of these great graphics. But you have it to put it on. Glow-in-the-dark backspacer. <laughs> right? A glowing backspacer. And look at the art on this thing. Is that beautiful? I love the hardware that they use for the axis lock, the bronze. It's really anodized bronze. Same with the lugs. Isn't that beautiful? And I like, at first I saw the backspace, I'm like, whatever. But I love the fact that it glows in the dark, you know? This is a special knife. It doesn't cost like the limited editions <laughs> that I've talked about and showed you. It's not that much. They did a great thing with their limited edition. I wish more knife makers would do this. What they did was they said, you want one? Order it. Send us the money. Order it. And then we're going to keep it open. And then they kept telling people when they would stop people from buying them. It's like when you, you'd you get a custom knife, you know? You'd put in your order, you'd pay for it, or you paid some down, and then you'd wait for it to come. I waited about three months or so, and then they, you know, they stopped. I almost forgot that I had ordered one. And then it came in the mail, and oh, it's so special. So, 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 so special. Titanium scales, I believe feels like it everything about this knife says special everything about it i think this one's gonna stay never say never but i think that one's gonna stay in my permanent collection i just love it again that's a very special spaced out bug out s30v steel that mine is number 301, Colorful Filth Collaboration. And let me just say, they opened it up, I don't know, was it half a year or whatever, but I love that idea. I wish more people would do it. You know, you, a distributor does a spidecle and says, hey, order yours, it's limited edition, and we're going to close it at this amount of time. Um, that way, if you want it, you can get it. If you don't, you don't. But I'm so happy that someone let me know about that. There you have it. I hadn't talked to you. Sorry it's gone so long, but I haven't talked to you in a while. I wanted to share all of my Benchmade knives. They're all bug outs, and I'm so happy to have this collection. Yeah, I bite my tongue and, and, and sit on my hands not to buy all the other bug outs that are coming out. But I'm done. This is it. I don't know. You know, now I'm looking at my collection and I'll pull out one of these mini collections like this and go, why do you have 16 bug outs? And so this will probably be thinned out. I don't know when. Doesn't mean the one in November. I haven't decided yet what I do with that, but... In the middle of next month, you can expect another one of those sales. I'll let you know. I appreciate all of you guys. I'm going to try. I keep saying I'm going to try to get to YouTube more often. Some days I just aren't good days. <laughs> but I will get to you more often. I appreciate all of you guys. Take good care of yourselves. Do me a favor. Take some time out. Spend it with yourself. Most of you are men, but even if you're a woman, take some time for yourself. Spoil yourself. All right? I know. A lot of times we're so busy taking care of other people and working. Uh, believe me, when you become 62, <laughs> you know the old saying that, you know, you, you're not going to be thinking about how much you worked when you get older. It's true. So take some time to have some fun with you, your families, your loved ones, etc. 
Appreciate all of you guys. Don't forget to subscribe. Turn on notifications. I promise you there's going to be some special things happening. I'm working on trying to do more live shows and streaming and all kinds of stuff. I bought all the equipment. I just got to do it. So you'll be hearing from me. I appreciate all of you. Keep those pockets full. Goodbye.